Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert, and today I'm bringing to you the full drop list for this week, which is going to be week 18 of the full winter season. And yeah, it's going to be the last drop before Christmas time, before Christmas is here, so we're just going to jump straight into it. For this week, we have a collaboration, which is going to be Timberland, and then we just have lookbook pieces, basically. To be honest, there's probably like two, maybe, uh, that I believe that people will probably be possibly going for. You'll have to wait and see, basically. We'll have to see. But, yeah, in my mind, there's at least one uh, because it's almost like a re-release. You can kind of compare it to or bring it closely to. Uh, and that is probably the reason as to why it might sell out. But, yeah, let's just jump straight into the same way. And as put on, let me know down below whether or not your items from last week have arrived or not. You know, if your box logos are here. Maybe even your box logo hoodies, if they didn't arrive, you know. I don't know, because the shipping types are all over the place, like some people are getting them within a day, within two, other people, not so fortunate. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this anyway. Okay, so obviously we're going to be jumping straight into this week, and yeah, as you see, the Timberlands are actually higher up than normal, because they are a better than normal pair, I suppose I can say, uh, as far as the sort of comparison to other pairs go, I'd say they're a lot better, but obviously uh, they're not you know, the cream of the crop. But for this week, we're going to be kicking off with the Ride Snowboard. Now, if you don't know, this is imagery or graphic, I suppose I could say, from prior skateboards that Supreme released and prior pieces, which is literally called the Street Scene. 2010, for Winter 10, 11, I feel like it's 10, something like that, uh, they were released. Really nice set in the end, really, like just, yeah, just overall, just a nice set. Uh, and now it's been released on a snowboard, so. I mean, that's cool. I've never snowboarded before. I don't know how I'd do. I feel like I'd do terribly, but I feel like it'd be a cool thing, but yeah. Anyway, uh, as you can see, available in three different sizes. So whether or not that uh, is like a chosen thing, same as skateboards used to be at some points, used to have like two sizes. Uh, whether or not that is the case with this, we'll just have to wait and see. And whether or not it is like two separate colorways with three available, that's also the thing. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Following that, we have the Windstopper face mask with Supreme spell out. The last face mask that we had with a spell out, I believe was the Arabic one, the Neoprene in 4 into 17. Prior to that, I believe it was 4 into 14 when the original was released uh, of this with obviously different uh, spell out, you know, text color in the end. Personally, it's very iconic and stand out, but with it being Windstopper, it's a little bit different on the material side. As far as colorways are concerned, that's a difficult one, because personally, if this was white, like the original, obviously, red and white would be the standout, but because it's this gray, almost reflective, uh, as you can see, 3M reflective, it's a bit difficult. I would say more so that then you would have like the white camo and the black being the standout, the red still being great, but those ones more so being more out there just because there's nothing separating them too much to do with the text. It's just the colorway. So yeah, but obviously personal preference is is something that comes into play. So we'll just have to see. From there, obviously we have the Timberland uh, with the diamond plate six inch premium waterproof boot. As you can see, diamond plate, evident i don't need to explain it personally black colorway is probably the one that i just prefer overall i don't know how people feel about pink i'm not gonna lie sometimes it's just like an under the radar and it just does things typically in smaller sizes but you never know we'll have to wait and see but yeah maybe timberland will have a decent sellout time for once because it's been a little bit all over the place as of late from there we can move on to the houndstooth wall camp cap yeah, I, mm, I don't know. I'd probably just say brown or black colorway. Pink, purple sort of tone is okay, but black or brown, I'd probably say that the colorways that I'm more, you know, on the side of in the end. Uh, yeah, I did not realize how short this week was. I was scrolling down expecting to see like another two or three rows. There really aren't. There are not at all. Uh, we've got the mock neck long sleeve top next. Uh, embroidered classic logo on the front. And that's all she wrote, basically. So yeah, as far as colorways are concerned, I'd probably just say it'd be like the gray for me personally. The dusty plum is okay, but I'd probably say the gray, the olive, and like the navy. Those are three colorways that I really like out of them. Definitely the gray. The olive is a nice turn, and navy? Nope. Navy? I guess so, yeah. But those are the three colorways uh, that I 
prefer out of all of them. I know people are probably like, no, we don't, but that's just how I feel. We've then got the peeled sweater. Yeah, sure. So it's got Supreme on it, which is embroidered. Yeah, is embroidered. I swear, when I had difficulties before being able to see, like, <laughs> one of the pieces with what it had, because I believe someone said in the end, uh, something just had an S embroidered into it, and I, I could not see it to save my life. But yeah, I can definitely see this. Personally, colorways, no. Uh, I'd probably say the black or the brown colorway. That's just how I feel. Lime, no go, no. Uh, but yeah, the central two colorways, I feel look okay in that. We've then got the eagle beanie next, which is, yeah, again, self-explanatory. Different material than the normal, as you can tell by the way that the stitch is. Like, it just looks different. I'd probably say it'd be the black or the brown, yet yeah, again, pink does stand out, and I think that as an overall, navy looks the cleanest with it, uh, because it doesn't really have any of the colours that are going on within the graphic and within the, like, embroidered patch, uh, and as of that, it just stands out a little bit more, so the central colourway, I think, is the best one, but in terms of what people probably wear, they probably wear, like, black, brown, or the pink, so... Yeah, it's slate in the end, but navy slate, yeah, that's just what I feel. We've then got the Gore-Tex ear flap cap. Mm. Pink with the reversible grey is nice and black is fine. I'm not a fan of the different camo that they've introduced the last like season or so. But yeah, e. it just feels like I'm going to see Eddie from Christmas Vacation. And uh, <laughs> I love that film a lot, but this this doesn't. It doesn't look the greatest. Uh, to finish off the week, we've got three items, starting with the Sherpa logo beanie. Yeah, black or white colorway, I'd say the best two out of them. Burnt orange is okay, but I just, uh, those two colorways are fine. Then got another houndstooth piece, which is going to be the plaid flannel shirt. Oh boy, that's that's a doozy, as, as one might say. Uh, black colorway, maybe. Uh, not really. I'm not a massive fan, I'm not going to lie. And we end off the week on the visor logo camp cap. Uh, black colorway maybe and that's about it so that is going to cover this week's drop as you can tell it's not the largest uh, it's, <laughs> it really isn't uh, as far as items are concerned I'd probably say that there's a high chance of the top three being the, the, the biggest three items uh, selling out whether that time frame will be quick or you know slow only time will tell in the end. I definitely feel like at least a colorway will go in the Timberland for once, if not just sizes across them. As far as the face masks are concerned, since they're probably the most hyped, I'd say they should go, but I don't know about maybe the blue or the white colorway, how long they'll take. We'll have to see, they could sit in the end, some things like that just happens. And the snowboard, I don't know. I don't know how many people snowboard, so I don't know. And whether or not Supreme's boards are up to a standard that are great, because I know in the past for skateboarding, people are like, don't get them because they break. So I don't know, but let me know down below what you're going to be going for, what your thoughts are. And yeah, other than that, I do hope that you have a good rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Peace.